What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here with your second stimulus check update. And in this video, we're going to talk about what is on the horizon money-wise regarding stimulus with all the different things they're trying to pass in for the second stimulus package right now. I'm going to give you new current updates and also I'm going to give you new state and local programs that are passing stimulus money right now to uh, various different people in different states and different cities. And my wife's going to jump on with us here at, at the end of the video to open up that box uh, and reveal who we're giving out $500 to in this video. So make sure to watch to the end. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe down below if you're new here. This way you won't miss out on new videos. Okay, let's go. Over 125 top economists from the United States all across the, U the U.S. are urging Congress to pass another stimulus package and another round of stimulus checks of at least $1,200 now before the end of the year. In an open letter from these economists, they're urging Congress to pass another stimulus package now before the end of the year, before this is too late for millions of Americans, as last month alone, one million new Americans passed into poverty just last month alone. And in this list of economists is all sorts of high name officials from universities and top respected economists across the entire United States. You can see how many of them there are here. And we just hope that Congress sees this and knows that we need to pass this now. Now, within the last few days, we found out that there's actually three different buckets of money with $800 billion available from previous stimulus packages that Congress can pass right now without even you know, having to agree on more money to spend. They just have to agree to actually release this money and spend it on stimulus checks and unemployment extension and student loan uh, forgiveness and possibly mortgage and rental relief. I'm going to get to all that here in a second. But this $800 billion, it seems that the Democrats are pushing right now to make a lower deal, lower than $2 trillion, with the Republicans to try to make a deal this week. It was actually some insider information from the Democratic team, some Democratic aides who released this information to the New York Times that the Democrats are now willing to concede and make a lower deal just to get a deal done before the end of the year, which is honestly what they need to do because both the Republicans and the Democrats are holding their ground and they have to actually meet in the middle to get a deal done. Unless, of course, they just decide to use that $800 billion to pass a stimulus package. Remember, the stimulus checks alone of another uh, round of checks of $1,200, $2,400 for couples, and that would only cost $250 billion, and that includes another $500 check for dependents. So to give couples uh, $2,400 or single people $1,200, they already have enough money. They have $800 billion. That would only cost $250 billion. Now, what's interesting about that $2,400 is it actually comes into play several different times. The Democrats actually want to pass a $600 per week federal unemployment benefits for however long this crisis lasts. That's an actual quote. And $600 per week is $2,400 per month for, and that is for unemployment benefits for anybody that has lost their job during this pandemic. Now, right now there is a $0 bonus. So even if they don't get the full $600 per week, possibly if they go with the Problem Solvers Caucus bill, which is $450 per week, that would still be $1,800 per month, which would be a great benefit for anybody that has lost their job due to this pandemic, which most experts say is no fault of their own. In addition to that $2,400 per month unemployment, the Democrats are also pushing for $2,400 per year for increased Social Security payments. Joe Biden has proposed increasing Social Security checks, along with the Democrats, for veterans and Social Security, SSDI, and railroad benefits. 
by $200 per month as proposed by Senators Ron Wyden and Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts. Quote, a simple benefit increase like this will improve the lives of millions of Americans and help our economy stabilize and recover. So it's interesting that $2,400 number is, it's being, it's in several different instances. One, it's, if you're a family, if you're a couple of two, your checks would be $1,200, $1,200, $2,400 for two people. In addition to that, they want $2,400 per month for anybody that has lost their job. Of course, those are only temporary benefits to get you through the times that you can find another job or your unemployment benefits run out. But the unemployment benefits are $2,400 per month. And the Social Security increase, along with the I think it's 1.3% increase uh, from 2020 to 2021. They also want to increase it at a flat $200 per month for anybody in Social Security, SSDI, railroad benefits. That's $2,400 per year. $2,400 seems to be the magic number that the Democrats are pushing for right now in all these different areas. In addition to that, in the HEROES Act 2.0 was actually a student loan forgiveness of $10,000 in that package from the Democrats that was passed in the House, the HEROES Act 2.0, was a $10,000 student loan forgiveness. But there is another plan uh, proposed by Senator Elizabeth Warren for a $50,000 student loan forgiveness. All that has to be done for this is a presidential executive order. This student loan forgiveness bill does not even need to be passed by Congress because there's actually no printing of the money. They don't have to print any money and send any money out to anybody. They simply sign a presidential executive order. Trump could do this or Biden could do this or any future president could do this. All they do is sign on the dotted line and the debt is basically forgiven. There's no money that needs to be printed. It's just debt that is forgiven. And that can actually be done with a presidential executive order. I will be keeping you guys updated on all this information. As soon as new information comes out, I will be updating you guys every single day. In addition to that, let me update you guys on state and local programs that are actually paying out stimulus money, stimulus checks, and mortgage and rental assistance, and even money for utilities and food on the state and local city level. Orange County, Florida is reopening their $1,000 stimulus check program for Orange County, Florida, which is where Orlando is. This morning, it reopens up to anybody who has not gotten a $1,000 check from Orange County previously. So if you're from Orange County, Florida, the entire county, or if you know anybody, that new program opens up today to anybody who hasn't gotten a check previously. In addition to that, North County, which is uh, San Diego, is also having stimulus relief for their residents. For San Diegans, the new campaign begins November, Friday, November 27th, and includes rental assistance in Carlsbad, Solana Beach, and Oceanside, and uh, some surrounding areas. So San Diego is uh, launching new rental assistance with one-time grants to cover past due and future rental payments, so likely thousands of dollars for the anybody who gets approved for this. I recommend you look it up and get more details on it. I also will be keeping you up to date on more states, cities, and counties that are passing stimulus to their residents right now. So make sure you're subscribed with the bell icon on so you don't miss out on new updates. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with my beautiful wife, Laurel, who likes to make jokes off camera at me. <laughs> <laughs> so Thanksgiving is upon us and we're going to be opening the box. What do you think? About everything. I think I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> What, it's not like you have a two-year-old running around keeping you up yeah, all night. Yeah, who kept me up two times last night while you're cutting wood again. What? Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound like me at all. Mm -hmm. So tell them what your plans are for Thanksgiving. To eat and sleep. <laughs> tell them about this uh, sweet potato casserole you're making. I'm making this sweet potato casserole that um, 
is really good and it's his favorite and we haven't had it in a while and it's basically like whipped sweet potatoes and then on the top is like a crumble with brown sugar and pecans so hopefully it comes out good <laughs> yeah it's very good we're trying to get julian excited our son for thanksgiving i don't think he quite understands Thanksgiving. no he yet. still wants to watch halloween videos <laughs> yeah, oh my he loves watching halloween videos on youtube kids i know and you notice how he's running around talking about how he's some type of vampire yeah i'm a bear vampire i'm a ghost all this <laughs> so i think i think in his world he's going to go right from halloween to christmas because mm -hmm. he definitely will remember santa claus yeah, he already does know Santa Claus. Yeah. He remembers. You're that. dressing up like Santa Claus, right? No, but I just saw an ad on Instagram where you can have Santa send like like a cameo. A cameo? Like a video? Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll have her dress up as Santa and give a cameo on this channel. Yeah. What? You can dress up as Santa. All right. So let's open this box. Go ahead. Okay. And we will see what is in here. Voila. I'll take it out and tell them what that is. This is a piece of dead coral. So all that's left is the skeleton. And tell them where we got this. Found this on the beach in Hawaii. And little sidebar note. If you ever go to Hawaii, you are not allowed to leave the state with any type of lava rock. And it's supposed to be bad luck. So Is it illegal too? I believe it it might for lava rock. I don't know if it's illegal. If you're from Hawaii, let us know down below yeah. in the comments. I don't think so. Could be wrong. Um but yeah, so we found this and brought it home. There's this, there's this beach. I call it a beach. It's on the big island of Hawaii mm -hmm. by the Hilton. In Waikoloa. In Waikoloa. And if you're by the Hilton, that Hilton is so beautiful. You can actually take a boat to get to your room, mm -hmm. which is amazing to take a boat to go to your hotel room. But they have a beach there that I call Coral Beach. And it's literally, maybe you can find a picture and and pop it up right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's literally the entire beach is just there's no sand. It's just all and these shells. All like over the beach. millions and millions of them. I call it Coral Beach. It's uh it's a really cool place. A really cool thing to see. Obviously mm -hmm. you're not gonna lay down on the beach there. No, but it's but cool it's to see. something really cool to see. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, we're giving away five hundred dollars today to uh, $100 to five different people who have guessed correctly what's in the box. Remember that they're picked randomly. So we have a little tool that searches for, the, in this case, the word coral. And from there, it will randomly pick five people for $100. We're going to be doing this again going forward. I think we're going to have a little sponsor on the channel for like a quick blurb that's actually kind of sponsoring. It's going to pay for some of the money that we're giving away. So that's great because uh, it helps us help you guys out, which is amazing. So we're giving out $500 right now before Thanksgiving. And we'll be doing this again for, I think, $1,000. Uh, probably in two different What's in the Box contests before Christmas. <laughs> so with that being said, Laurel, why don't you read our winners here? So the first winner is Dreamy1959. That's a nice username. Mm -hmm. Number two. The second winner is Scott Gillick. Ah, okay. Number two. Number three. Number three is Chelsea J. Okay. Number four is Chris Johnson. And number five is Pamela Riddenauer. May have butchered that one a little bit. Let right. us know if we said it right. Tried my best. <laughs> so uh, if you won, comment down below. But I will be contacting you guys. Uh, I will be replying to your comments that won on a previous video, obviously. So hopefully you have a PayPal address. If not, uh, try to get one. Open one up for free. PayPal is the easiest way for me because... I just do PayPal. If not, I'll figure out a way to get you the money. 
and uh, make sure you're subscribed and uh, you like this video because we will be having more of these coming out for Christmas. And you can click on this top video over here to watch our newest stimulus check videos next. And this video teaches you how to start your own business selling products on Amazon FBA. We have dozens of students that have replaced their entire 9 to 5 income selling products on Amazon, and we teach them how to do that. Click on one of those videos to watch them next. Thanks, guys, and we will see you in the next video.